Hey everybody. Today we are going to be doing a review on this Mustang seat that I have on my Victory Vegas here. This is the standard two-piece touring seat that Mustang offers. You can get it with a backrest. I opted not to. Uh, in hindsight, backrest might have been nice, but not the end of the world. So big question is why Mustang? Well, when I put the seat on, that was pretty much the only aftermarket seat I could get for my Vegas. Um, I looked around, I didn't really find anything else. Mustang was the only one to offer it. Now I've had this seat on here for probably 10 to 12 years, and I would say 70 to 80,000 kilometers. I've had this seat for quite a while. When I bought it, I paid about 700 bucks Canadian for for both driver and passenger seat. And that was obviously a big chunk of money, but it is worth a lot more than that now. These seats are about 850 bucks. This, this backrest and this here, these are not Mustang. Those, those came from somewhere else. So why did I put this seat on here? Well, that's pretty easy. So you'll see here, this is the stock seat. Now anybody that owns a Vegas knows that the stock seat is a bloody bed of nails. Now, this is a cruiser. This is not a touring bike, so the seat was not meant to be a long distance seat. And I guarantee you, it is not. I did a couple trips with this seat. Uh, I tell you, like your tailbone felt like it was just gonna come shooting through the top of your head. It was just terrible. So I looked around, Mustang was about the only one I could find. So I bought it, I paid dearly for it. Uh, to be quite honest, it was worth the money. So what are some good points and bad points about this seat? Well, it is pretty bulky. I mean, you want some nice padding for your ass? Well, you're probably gonna have a bigger seat. The low profile ones, they do look awesome, but they're probably not gonna cushion your, your rear end for very long. So the look is a bit bulky. However, if you're putting on a lot of miles, you're gonna appreciate that. Uh, it wasn't cheap. I mean, I paid 700 bucks for this a long time ago. I think these things are about 850 now. And with a backrest, I think they're about 1100 or something like that. Um, Downside, I mean, I couldn't get this at a dealer. I had to order it online. Not a lot of shops, even when victories were still made, just carried these things in stock. It was a high price item. So I had to order on online, not the end of the world. Now, one thing, and I think this goes for any seat you buy, is you have to break it in. I had to put about five to 700 miles on this thing before it kind of started feeling really comfortable. It was quite firm at first and then uh, you know, it's been broken in. I've I've done routinely, I've done 800 kilometer, 1000 kilometer days on this thing. You know, I was tired, but I mean, I could do it. The other seat, I was ready to get off and walk. Now, one of the big things with this seat. Now, with this on here, my feet are still flat on the ground. I'm about 5'10", so I'm not super tall. Uh, so this seat did not move me up very much. The one thing it did is it moved me back about two inches. Now. I had to go put another set of handlebars on my bike that were two inches pulled back because I, was, I felt like I was leaning too far forward. So this seat will change the ergonomics of your bike. You may have to adjust your pegs or your floorboards or you know your handlebars and that. So not only did I blow money on the seat, but I ended up blowing money on a set of handlebars to make everything comfortable. Now I did that a long time ago. Uh, I have over 112,000 kilometers on this thing now you know, 80,000 of it was put on with this seat and those handlebars. So I found something that worked for me. It was all good. So what are some good things I like about it? Well, it's comfortable. I can put long days in on this thing, you know, without an issue. This seat has seen all kinds of weather. It's seen rain, sun, all that. No tears, no nothing. Uh, it's holding up pretty good. So no complaints there. Um, you know, you can get a backrest for it, which, uh, you know, might not be a terrible idea. You will pay for it. Um, you know, and I, I guess I'm just used to the look of it as well. It, it suits my bike. The, the hard bags help cover up some of the bulkiness and that. So to be quite honest, I'm really happy with this seat. Uh, I put a lot of miles on it, you know, and I'm ready to do more touring on it. So Mustang seats, you get a thumbs up. 
Now, some of you may be wondering, why didn't I go with some of the other brands? That's easy. No other brands made aftermarket seats for the Victory Vegas when I was looking for this. The, the company was probably too new at the time. So I went with what was available and I'm quite happy with it. So if you got a Vegas, throw a Mustang seat on it. You can put in some all day miles. Good seat. Thanks Mustang.